In this demonstration, I'll show how to add hover text to your table. To start with, I've got a table that has um, four columns. I'm going to hide this first column and we'll reference it later on. To do the hiding, I'm going to select the group, I'm going to add and apply, give it a name, and we're going to tell it we want to hide the column. And the column is gone. It is not being rendered for view even though it is still there in the data funnel. Okay, so we're going to add some hover text to this to the data view. To add hover, I'm going to add an apply tag, give it a name, hover, and I want to apply it to all rows and all columns. And I'm going to select hover. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, start with a simple table. You can put any HTML you want into the hover text. In this case, I'm going to show you how you can add a table. So I'm just going to copy this information and I'm going to add it into the content. Click OK. And as you can see, we now have a table that's in the hover that's got three rows. I've got the row title, value, and image. Now we're going to replace those with the actual values from the table. So I'm going to flip back over to my editor. To do this, I'm going to use JEVAL expressions. So I need to convert all of this, all these into strings. Now we're ready to oh, one more. Now we're ready to replace this literal text of row title with the actual value we want. And to get the row title, um, I'm going to flip back over here and we're going to edit this hover and I'm going to click on help. We're going to um, and I'm going to scroll down in the help to the table group or the grid functions which are down near the bottom here they are available grid functions and I want the cell string value okay so we're going to come back over to our editor and I'm going to insert this JEVAL expression what this is going to do is it's going to get me the value for a particular cell um, the first parameter is the row, the second one is the column. So the row is always going to be row 1 in the data funnel, so I can get the header, but the, I'm sorry, yeah, the, col the column is dynamic, so I'm going to put in a macro for the column, so that, that becomes dynamic. And I'll place these in quotes for now and there'll be literal strings that will be appended on. We'll fix those up later. And I'm going to select that and we'll now apply that. Uh, replace that text. Click OK. And now as I hover, as you can see, I've got sales 2007, total sales, sales 2006. So that's working. Okay. So now we want the actual value to be the next thing we, we pull. And to do that, we're going to do the same thing. Well, actually, we can use a macro in this case. So we'll do a quote. We'll do a, a DS cell value. Close the quote. Select that and we will edit our hover, paste in the changes, and we'll see what it looks like. OK, 
Okay, so now we've got the actual values being displayed. All right, now we need to add an image. So our image is going to go here. To get the image, I'm going to click on the ellipse and I'm going to add an image and I'm going to select check and that's our image right there. Okay, so I'm going to now flip over to my editor and replace that with the actual image. Okay, and we'll select all of that. We'll select all of that text and replace it. Say OK. OK. And now I'm showing an image. All right. One other thing we want to do is we want we we hid that first column when we first started the region. I want to display that information in the hover. So we'll go back over to our editor and I'm going to block this and paste it. We'll copy that row and then we'll replace the value. What we're going to do is we're going to use this cell string value function again, but this time we want the row to be dynamic. And we want the column to be always column 1 from the data funnel. We want to pick up that region value. And let's say we want to put a we want to prefix it so we know what it is. So now we'll select all of that. We will edit our hover text. Select all, replace it. And there we go. As you can see, the region is now displaying. Okay, so we can also do some styling. And I'm going to select a previously done style. As you can see we can add style um, attributes. You can also use, you can reference uh, classes if you um, have already defined classes, CSS classes. Um, so in this case I've got, I've set the font weight for the title to be bold. I've underlined the region and I've set the value to be italic. that and replace this. Okay. And we will paste this into our hover. Okay, now the hover is stylized, and that concludes our demonstration. Thank you.